that's how you open the door. The only original gauges that work are the oil pressure and the air pressure. How many gauges are up there? Uh, four count the speedometer. And only two of them work? Yeah. But I got a separate panel over here that has... No power steering, as you can gauges. all tell. at this cool shop. I wonder who owns this place. That is oh, awesome. I left the garage door open. That's all right. We're not going to be gone very long, are we? No. I also, we also we left. Come by. We have a 671 inline Detroit motor. Six cylinders, 71 cubic inches per cylinder. The motor, air pump, alternator, transmission, all in a nice big line. Blower, we have a rear start. We can start it back here by pushing this button. <laughs> That's the shut off. That's the solenoid, electric solenoid for the shut off. I need to adjust it a little bit so it'll shut itself off. <laughs> yeah, so that's an issue. <laughs> that's an issue. <laughs> these are the valve cover. This is the valve cover and these are the screws that take it off. All I gotta do is loosen these up in the valve what cover. What part did I off. just order for you at the tavern? This part right here. Why? Because I can hear a small air leak in that. And this, this controls the shutters over here on the, right now the shutters are open on the radiator. Because at 160 Actually, degrees, those shutters, those shutters open up and the shutter control valve is leaking air. And when it cools off, these shutters will close. So in the cold weather, the, the motor will warm up quicker. But if you listen closely, you can hear the air leaking out of right here between that and that. The bus was made in 51, they made it for two years. The 4103, it has a 671 Detroit in it with the four speed manual transmission. That little door right there will show you the, the clutch pedal, the brake, the uh, linkage for the accelerator, and the linkage for the shifters behind this door. Uh, the spare tires behind this bumper. Supposedly, I haven't looked at, don't know if it's really there or not. The compartment for the spare tire on most of your General Motor buses are right there. there are the bay doors here, this one here goes all the way through. It's really large. Is that for luggage? For luggage. This is the fuel tank. I mean, I don't really see a lot of luggage room considering this was a Greyhound. That bay would have been full of luggage. luggage. This bay would have been full of luggage. Oh. This bay right now has our... Oh, propane. because they put the RV stuff in them. Right, right. So now we have the propane tank. I got it. And the, and the gray and black water tank and the water tank are in these guys. So that's propane, black water, fresh water behind it. It's a big propane tank. Yeah. Seems like. 22.5 tires. These bays all open up. That's the electrical panel. This will show you the transmission, which again is a manual four speed with no synchro, so you have to double clutch. Wendy is super good at it. <laughs> wow. 
This was the original parking brake, was which it? we do not use. Uh, some sort of kind of worked back in the day. The problem is people leave them now, they leave them on, it creates friction and heat as you're driving, and then it catches it on fire. So. This is a four-speed manual. When you go into reverse, this solenoid right here is controlled up front electronically. When you pull this, put it into second gear, left the button off, then you're in reverse. This is the reverser rod, and this vehicle backs Reverse up. Reverse is second, people, in case you missed that. So it backs up as fast as you go forward in second, it backs up that fast in reverse. Mm. Plenty fast. Um, right back to the motor, 671. I don't even know what's behind door number one. Oh, radiator. That's the shutter control valve that controls those little shutters. This is the battery box. I only run one battery. We run a 12 volt system rather than a 24, which would have been original. So one 12 volt battery. This is our coach batteries. This is the other end of the, the black and gray water tank, which is right here. And our dump for the black and gray water, our 12 volt for the coach. And then on way up here, this tank right here, the stainless steel tank, is the, the one fresh I water. People, oh no. and originally on this bus, this would have been where the AC motor, the air conditioner was run by a three cylinder gasoline engine that ran the AC compressor, which cooled the bus and trans so they didn't have to run the diesel motor. Now we carry our generator in it and an auxiliary fuel tank. So we have two fuel tanks, one on each side. That sounded empty. It has about 10 gallons. If you notice, I'm going backwards on this door because at some point this was replaced with a passenger side screw ratchet and that's the rest of the fuel tank here we have it's kind of interesting we have the water system so this is a belt driven water pump this is the water pump in front of the water pump you'll see a little v-belt drive this electric motor right here drives the water pump can you come right over here honey i don't know if you can see it or not but the 12 volt motor drives the water pump here at this v-belt and then over here we have a pressure regulator and a pressure tank. So the pressure tank fills up and it takes about, I don't know, half a gallon of water before the pump will turn on because we have the pressure tank. Goes through to the other side. On our bus, we still have the original heating system, which heated the passengers and the driver. This is the original heating system. These are 12 volt motors that, that power a squirrel cage that goes through and takes the heat from the engine and blows it out into the coach. It's very effective. Of course, we carry almost everything you could imagine because if you don't have tools, don't drive. This is underneath the, the driver's feet. It's open. has all the linkage Ew, crusty. this has all the linkage here's your as I was talking about in the back with the emergency brake this is the emergency brake we no longer use it nor recommend it and then you have the steering there's your steering that's kind of cool I can see in the camera that's the gearbox it's a manual steering it works really well and unless you're standing still and then it's really hard to turn but it's not impossible up here we have clutch and brake linkages and the accelerator linkage. And uh, I'm not sure what this old box is for, but it's kind of cool. In this yellow tube, there's flares. Probably no longer functional flares, but they're there. Found a few air leaks in here that we fixed. 
the only compartment that I haven't opened is the front bumper swings down and there's a supposedly a spare tire somewhere underneath that. But we haven't played that game. Maybe I will with that rain. So we had the linkage, throttle linkage brake at a at a truck stop on one, on Highway 95 the other day. So I created this with parts we had in the bus and fixed it at the truck stop. And now this is your th fuel shut off. I'm gonna have to readjust the fuel shut off by shortening this linkage so we can shut the fuel off from inside the bus without having to come back here and manually shut the fuel linkage off. But, and that's the governor. This is your governor house housing. All right, that's all I know. That's a lot. And that's a wrap. I don't think I ever want to see that. <laughs> this time I want to shorten it, right? Now that we got all of the doors open. Now they're up. <laughs>